My name is Karl Popa. I'm a scaling up coach. I'm from Lanzarote, Spain, and I run a company that helps fast growing tech companies scale their businesses. Awesome. And what's your native language, Carl? Uh, Polish. Polish. Awesome. Polski. <laughs> Why did you decide to start working with me? Because I believe that, you know, the, the way you speak has a direct impact on how people judge the value of your words. So if you don't like me speaking or my speaking, it hurts your ears. You will not hear me, right? You will not get the value out of it, what I'm saying. So if I want to do a great job, it should be easy for you to understand. And that's why I decided I needed to work on my pronunciation, on my voice, on my speaking ability, just because I knew that if I want to provide value, the listener needs to understand me uh, without any trouble. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it's a little bit distracting if the speaker is not totally clear or the message isn't hitting their ears the way that they expect it to. So, yeah, that makes sense. What doubts if any did you have about like your accent or about the, what you could get out of the program before you started uh, not to the program you know uh, it was just about me being aware how I sound uh, and that it wasn't the quality you know and my skills were weren't there where I wa wanted them to be so I've just decided to look for a coach a trainer that could help me with that and I was watching some videos, demo videos of coaches, and I found you, and I said, all right, I like this guy. And then we had a first lesson, and then we stayed for a long time together. Yeah, it's been a while. I think I even had longer hair back then as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Can you talk about some of the specific things that you learned from the program? Oh, of course. The, the, the main thing was the difference between how you produce a sound in my native language and in American. So they're teaching my body to do it uh, without hesitation, without any trouble to produce the sound from the lungs and then how to use your mouth, your tongue position for different vowel sounds so they sound you know, good. That was something very important to learn. And then, you know, like being lazy, and how to connect sounds. Oh, there's a lot, you know, there, there, there was a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the things you're talking about are the general things that I work on with most students, pathway of the voice placement, mouth movement. I think you really came a long way just creating a lot smoother, connected sound, like you said, placement. Uh, and I can really see a huge difference. I'm sure you see that difference when you go back and look at some of your old homework videos as well. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, this is a, a good tip for anybody who, who starts this journey to record the first lesson, you know, and then you can come back and just listen to yourself and see how big of a progress you did because it, it is, it is a progress. So uh, I really, uh, I really wish we've, we've recorded the first session. That would be fun <laughs> to listen yeah, well, you got the, the first homework video, so you got a, sa a sample of it, not the full thing. But like you said, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. What have you been able to do since you've completed the program? The most important thing is I feel much more confident speaking you know, English and, and doing my job in English. So now I can spend the whole day doing my, my stuff, uh, doing like scaling up workshop. Uh, in English and it's totally fine I I don't even think about it where previously I would I would really feel like maybe something's missing and now it's all good and also I get feedback from people that they really say uh, my English is really good which I know I can get better I know I can improve but if they say that it, it really is uh, you know for my ears it sounds amazing yeah, well, we're all winning from that if you're feeling more confident about speaking because you're a really funny guy and we don't want you to hold back on any of those jokes. I mean, you really make people smile. That's one of your skills. <laughs> what advice or what tips for success would you give a student who's just beginning to start training accent pronunciation with you? 
Yeah, so uh, listen to Josh, practice your, <laughs> practice your, you know, your body uh, basically at the start, to so you can you can you can produce those sounds like automatically, and then I would say record yourself, uh, practice reading aloud, and then record yourself and listen to yourself and even try to give yourself feedback, like if you were to teach yourself. What would you do differently? What would you improve? What would you correct to be even uh, be even better? And then confront your feedback with with Josh, and then work on it. So I think this this work at least uh, great for me. Yeah, that's awesome advice. I mean, that's one of the main parts of the program that I try to do is get you guys to be able to guide yourself to really know exactly what direction to head in and how to identify whether or not you're reaching your goal. So I feel like you've really reached that and you're doing a good job of it so i'm happy for your results man and you know it's been great working with you and to continue working with you i'm looking forward to it man yeah thank you josh